Oh my goodness, I gotta tell them. <laughs> Guys, listen up, this is not a drill. The legends over at Life of Luxury, Parker and Chester, have uploaded a brand new video after four months. And guess what? We're only four days into the new year. Guys, we are starting off 2024 with a banger of a video to react to. So I hope you guys are ready for this. Go and grab your popcorn because this is going to be an interesting one. This episode of Life of Luxury is called His Imaginary Friend Comes to Life at Night. Make sure you guys go and check out the original video down below in the description because I don't want to take credit for any of these videos. Before we even get started with this reaction, by the way, this is 20 minutes long. This is about to be so, so crazy. I'm so excited. Before we get started with this reaction, I just want to say huge thank you to Life of Luxury, Parker and Chester, because I feel like I've made so many memories with just these life of luxury reactions alone especially the ones where i've reacted to these videos with friends and uh honestly we've also built like a community of people who just want to see life of luxury reactions on this channel so you know without without life of luxury this wouldn't be possible and i actually heard that this might be the last life of luxury video on their life of luxury channel because they're running into like uh problems with youtube and stuff like that so Please, I hope you guys go go ahead over to their channel and support them because I don't know what they're going to be uh, doing after this, but you know, I wish them nothing but success and yeah, anyways, let's get started. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more reactions like this in the future. Let's do this. Boys room 202 AM. All right. Just like usual. Whoa. I don't know if you guys saw by the thumbnail, but they said this was an imaginary friend? How does an imaginary friend know how to open a door? Heck, it's supposed to be like a ghost, right? It's not supposed to be real. Her son isn't losing his mind. He created an imaginary friend to deal with the trauma from his what brother. What the heck? That is the longest neck I've ever seen in my life. Ever since his brother died, he hasn't been the same. Oh! Ugh. What the heck was squirting Whatever onto Parker, dude? The camera was, it doesn't want us here. Obviously, nothing that they've seen in any of these videos want them there. All I see is a boy who lost his brother. Dang, Parker looking good with that uh, no turtleneck. He's looking so sophisticated and everything. Oh my! Ain't no way. Ain't no way this boy gets eaten up whole like a snake in this video. No way. Bro, he's gone. And of course it happens at 3 a.m. Wait. What? What? The oh my. Uh, of course. Of course. Wait, wait, wait. So is it actually imaginary? Yo, guys, I don't even know what to think of this. The video hasn't even begun and, uh,. Like, I thought you could actually see this, but maybe you can only see this through the security cameras because obviously you see Chester just being choked, but you can't see anything. Holy crap. Chester, are you okay? What was that? Yo, I'm not gonna pause the video anymore. Come on. Let's just find out what's going on, dude. This is actually crazy. This might be the craziest and the most evil monster yet. Disclaimer, these videos are produced with the intention to entertain and for artistic purposes. The acts you see should not be replicated. Hello, They're telling you Luxor. not to try this at Thank home, okay? Thank you so much for 7.5 million subs. Congrats to we them. appreciate you guys so much. You're the reason we make these videos. Let's try to hit 8 million subs next. And let's smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we received an email from a mother named Barbara who right. recently lost one of her sons Ooh, in a fire. Rest Barbara in says peace. that ever since then, her other son, Caleb, has become mentally unstable. After I mean, losing his I, brother, her son Caleb I don't even want to imagine so like losing a loved one like that, especially my brother. Friend. Since creating this imaginary friend, his personality completely changed. Caleb, who was always peaceful, has started fighting with his friends and became violent and aggressive. Oh, Caleb dang. has also started to collect his mother's undergarments. Oh, okay. Started... Okay. Okay. That that's kind of weird. Now he's taking his mother's underwear. 
And doing what? Cutting off pieces of the girl's hair from school and collecting it. She thinks his imaginary friend told him to do this. She's worried that her son is losing his mind and sent us this video for proof. Barbara's phone camera. What the? How old is this guy? He looks like a grown man, but he's acting like a kindergarten. Like, like he's acting like a toddler. What? What the? Now Barbara wants us to help talk some sense into her son before he hurts someone or himself. So tonight we're gonna head out to their house. Let's go. I ask this question every single time. All these people who decide to email Parker and Chester, why don't you guys call the police? And if the police don't help you, like you can call the psych ward, you can call the mental hospital, because obviously he's not, he's not acting right in his mind at the moment, right? Bro, we shouldn't be getting involved with these people. We don't know how to deal with this. All right. They're going at 9.02, man. You guys should have went earlier in the day. But at this point, it's like a theme for them to go late. He created an imaginary friend to deal with the trauma from his brother passing. It's called a coping mechanism. Yeah, I don't blame the kid, but... Just because somebody sent you an email asking for help doesn't make Those pajamas that the kid was wearing? Or the guy that was wearing the pajamas, man? I don't know. I don't know about those pajamas. What time are they gonna show up? They always have to drive like so so far. Alright. I think this is a place. Let's go inside and meet these people. Oh. Huh. Okay. For once the house looks normal. It doesn't look ran down or anything like that. Eleven oh one PM. Their usual time. Say hello to Barbara. Um, hello, Hi. Barbara. Are you Barbara? <laughs> Why is her mouth open like that? Yes, I am. Hi. She was We're like, here to help you with your son. Will you people be able to fix my son? Well, we can certainly try. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it to him. All right. All right. Come on. You know, it gets awful lonely here at night. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is she smiling like that? She's like, uh, Parker, you wanna, you wanna stay the night? <laughs> that smirk. That smirk told us everything we needed to know. She just wanted Parker. She didn't even want her son to get fixed. This is his room, but I need to warn you. Ever since his brother died, he hasn't been the same. There's something really wrong with him. Listen, there's no need to worry. I know how to deal with trauma like this. You so do? Try to talk to him. Ch Chester's like, huh? You do? Come on. Okay. You can hear Chester's voice just shaking. There he is. Bro, be careful. It's fine. <laughs> Why is he dressed up in a onesie and he controls me? Mom, me, and. That's supposed to be like a drawing of his hey brother. Like, you know, you? we know he has an imaginary friend, but like, I think there's something wrong with him. Yeah, yeah, obviously. There's something wrong. He's been through a terrible tragedy recently. <sighs> no, I mean, something else. <laughs> the problem is, he feels like he's alone right now. Whenever Chester tries to be the voice of reasoning, it never works. You see this? 
I'm eye level with him to show we're equal. No, you're kind of lower right now, but. Oh, oh my god. Did you just get sprayed with like. Wedding? I told you. Something is afraid with him. That's kind of. Yeah, that's kind of gross. I'd be sick too if my brother died. Listen, uh, I need to clean myself off. Then let's set up some cameras. That doesn't look like throw up. It's literally like black liquid. Whatever that is. Okay, uh, let's set up some cameras in this house. Alright. Wait, bro. What? One of our cameras already spotted something. Wait, what? Which? Oh! Dude! This time it's not even happening it's while they're sleeping. I think it's just a glitch or something. Wait, hold up. They're gonna go there and it's gonna be invisible, isn't it? That's not a glitch. Dude, something's there. Alright, let's go check it out. Guys, they go bro. and there's nothing. Watch. Who's on the camera in here? Come on. It's not gonna be there. They look Sorry. around. They're not gonna find anything. Oh, it was coming out of that door. No way. Nothing. But imagine. Oh. What's in there? There's obviously what? something, right? I don't know. Imagine he gets sucked in there. <laughs> He's like, is this thing hiding behind the door? Oh, that is so creepy. No flashlight or anything, dude? Bro, at least bring a flashlight with you. You guys go during the night. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. They, they legit just walked past that monster and no way, no way, dude. Oh my gosh. Chester's still looking around. He doesn't realize there's something right behind him. There's nothing here. <laughs> oh my, not again. Oh, the vase. Does he not hear the vase moving? Bro, oh! Yo! Watch, Parker's gonna blame Chester, Dude. isn't he? Why would you knock that over? <laughs> I do it. it. Uh, I knew it, I knew it. There's something in here with us. Look, there's nothing in here. I just checked. Let's just go talk to Barbara now. He's like, Chester, you fool! Why would you come over to someone's house and start breaking their stuff? Oh, there she is. Why is she not asleep? Oh, there she is with her mouth open again. And her weird smile. Hi. Hi, Barbara. Oh, uh, I hope everything's okay. You don't got blankets or anything? Can you talk to my son? Uh, yeah, we did. Can you fix him? Listen, Caleb is a normal boy. He's not broken. He's just been through a devastating experience. If you want him to get better, you're going to need to try to understand that. It's just sometimes I think we lost Caleb a long time ago. What? Okay, well, we set up cameras. What are you talking about? And in Caleb's room, so... We can see how he's behaving at night. You're not gonna leave me alone, are you? What? I thought you could help keep my bed warm. Oh, I see. I knew. I knew it, man. She could have called anyone. She could have called anyone. But she watched one Life of Luxury video and she was like, "Hmm, Parker looking. Parker looking delicious." All right, all right. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, the way she just rubbed it on that bed. Bro. <laughs> 
Um, we're just gonna stay here. Yo! That's okay. The way she's just looking at Parker. Uh, hold up. What was that? Is that her underwear on the floor? Dude, she's like, get over here. Uh, I guess this is her room. That is wild. That is so wild. Okay, take the bed on the right. You take the one on the left. Um, okay. Man. Oh, dude, no way. Huh? What? The bed's completely soiled. Whoa. Are you serious? Wait, yeah, is it wet or something? Piss. What like, the it looks heck? So bad. Like, oh my god. Damn, we're gonna have to sleep in the same bed. I'm not gonna <laughs> share this tiny bed with you. Bro, yeah. I'm telling you, there's something else in this house with us. Is that seriously what you're worried about? Dude, Caleb is beyond traumatized. Oh, and his mom no. doesn't seem to be taking this Listen seriously. to Chester for Why once, bro. Stay here after he squirted that liquid all over your face. Between you and Barbara, I feel like I'm the only rational adult here. Really? All I see really? You're the one not thinking, man. Chester's, Chester has the answer no right in care. front of you, too. Bro, whatever that thing we saw on the camera was, it doesn't want us here. We already checked, and there was nothing there. <sighs> and we're not leaving without observing her son's behavior at night. All right, let's well, just go to sleep. <laughs> let's see what happens to them now. But dude, I can't believe two grown men are about to fit in that one little tiny bed. This is kind of crazy. There's no way. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of mm -hmm. hilarious. We go to sleep. Oh, this is when things are about to go down. This is 1, 1 17 a.m. at night. We got Barbara still with her mouth open. The hallway. I swear, every single Life of Luxury video, the hallway looks the same. Oh, Caleb's awake? Is he still wearing the same uh, onesie? Kind of looks different. Alright, everything's still normal. It's been an hour. It's 2.02 a.m. now. Okay. Oh, here it comes. The imaginary friend, huh? I don't think it's so ma Im imaginary. It's more like a ghost. Or no, not even a ghost. It's... What's your theory uh, on this, guys? Because... Because the... Just do it quick. What the... Because Barbara was saying how Caleb was, like, gone a long time ago. Or she felt like Caleb already... Was gone a long time ago. What does that mean? Jeez. Uh, oh, what the? Can anyone else hear this? Oh, shoot, it's almost three. Oh, holy crap. How did no one hear that? Is anyone going to wake up? What? Yo, if you guys are going to do this job, don't be deep sleepers. What the heck? There's no way I would not wake up after a sound like that. What? Yo, that thing really came back just to eat him. Okay, wake up, wake up. It's always Chester waking up first, man. Grab the camera, grab the camera. Bro. Bro, wake up. Is that Caleb? Bro. No, nope. Caleb's gone. Caleb's actually gone now. It's 3 a.m. Let's Holy go. crap. Okay. Holy crap. They they have to go. What the? This one's over here. Okay. Yo, yo, this is this is actually not good. Wait, what? Okay, they go into the room. They're not going to see anything There's because this thing is absolutely imaginary. Where did the boy go? Well, Caleb's gone now. Oh, and it's all that black ink. That disgusting black liquid. Oh, oh man. Wait. Oh, that, that looks disgusting. Oh, my gosh. 
that his clothes? Parker, what is it? He turned. He he basically turned into goo. Huh? That thing is under the bed. No, no. Is this when Chester gets attacked? Yo, please don't tell me there's about to be a jump scare. Wait, there's nothing. No, no, no. There is something. No. There is something. He's gone. I think something. You happened just can't to him. see it. Oh! Oh my gosh! Now he's getting attacked. Yo, but you can't see it. Oh my gosh! What? What the heck? Holy crap! He, he's legit just floating. What in the world? I like how the first thing he did was grab his sunglasses. <laughs> Dude, for a second, we were really going to see Chester without sunglasses. But the first thing he decides to grab is to hide his identity. <laughs> Are you okay? That's kind of wild. That? You were about to die, my guy. What? Wait, no. Not Parker's turn as well. Hold up. What is it? Hold up. What? What? What are you doing? Turn on night vision. Turn on night vision? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. There's about to be a whole jump scare, bro. Do you see anything? Fuck! What? What? What the? I can see it! Huh? Holy crap, that, that is crazy. So you need night Come vision on. to actually... Yo, you guys gotta leave. You guys gotta leave. Oh my gosh! Yo, it's dressed like a grandpa, though. Not gonna lie. Yo, they gotta leave. They gotta leave, man. Wait, Barbara... Oh my gosh, of course it's going to Barbara next. They, they're leaving Barbara behind them. <laughs> While they run away trying to get out of here, Barbara's getting eaten. So in the end, did they really help anyone? Oh my god. Are they gonna be able to save Barbara? I don't think so. It's too late. Oh my! Hold on a second. Why does Barbara got heels on when she's sleeping? Wasn't she just sleeping a second ago? Why, why does she have heels on? I'm asking the real questions right now. Oh my god, we, we gotta go. We gotta go. He's still got night vision on, man. Dude, this is actually crazy. This might this might be the one Life of Luxury episode where the monster actually shows up during the day while they're still setting up cameras. Dude, what was that thing? I couldn't even see it. I don't know. Get but into the car and drive away. Who the hell is Barbara? Let's Wait. just go to our car. Okay. <laughs> He just forgot about Barbara. He's like, screw Barbara. We're going. Our life matters more at this point. Since filming, we haven't heard from Barbara or her son. Obviously, they got eaten. Whatever that thing was, we do not think it was imaginary. It was just invisible, I think. Or a friend. Honestly, that was one of the crazier episodes of Life of Luxury. We've seen some crazy ones. So that's saying something. Hey, if you were eating popcorn during this episode, how was it tasting? Good? Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Shout out to Life of Luxury once again for making banger, banger of a video. Peace.